<laughs> Every time you guys <laughs> do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> they stood there like talking. I'm like, oh gosh, we're going to start. They're still talking. They're still talking. Hi, everyone. We're live at Epic Headquarters. I'm here with Steve and Pete and Sid. And we're going to have a special guest today. And Zach's going to come in. And <sighs> just all kinds of things. But first of all, I have to show you guys what is going to be coming to the store. Cool. Those are so cool. It's the flack buttons. I don't know. Let's see if we could. Flack you, Stacy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to definitely. Uh, you I know you guys have all seen this, but I'll, I will definitely post the picture of them um, on the forum so you guys can see them. And uh, we'll put th get them on the store as soon as possible. We're also going to load the sh load the shirts back up. And what? Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so cool. It's not just a smiley face. Cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we're also loading the short shirts back up. Thank you for buying them all out. We really appreciate it. We were really surprised to find out that all of the um, Unreal Tournament shirts, the uh, old school ones sold out, all of the logo shirts, uh, most of the logo shirts are gone. So we are going to be loading them back up soon. Um, we're still working on getting a little bit lower price uh, uh, for Europe because the, the shipping over there is yeah kind of crappy so we're, we're sorry about that um, I know a few guys who live close to each other that are in a clan they all got together and they all bought their shirts together in one big order so the shipping's like twenty dollars which is which is kind of out of control so um, our special guest today by the way is Tim so Tim get ready who? for that we're gonna talk to Tim <laughs> <laughs> Um, so right now we're going to have Pete, and he is going to talk about some of the weapons that people have been working on from the community. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to run through a few um, of the community weapons that are making good progress, and then I think we'll possibly show a couple of uh, official <gasps> weapons that we're going to start next. Surprise! And then end with an actual new weapon prototype that's being done 100% by the community. That's yeah. really cool. So what I'd like to start out people with are gonna be excited about that one. is the shock rifle. And uh, Min started this quite a while ago. Um, at the time, he wasn't an Epic employee. He's since graduated to Real Boy. Mm. So the neat thing about this is we'll have to figure out how to get it to you guys for free. We will definitely not charge you for this. It'll be an alternate weapon or some kind of customization or something. So he's been able to work on this a little bit in his free time. And what he's done is he's got all the main forms blocked in. And the neat thing about it, it is a very different design. Well, I know a lot of people in the community really like the previous concept that Gooba did, and this is based off of that, along with a lot of the feedback that the community has given. So what's neat about this one is he's even gone in and done animation tests um, with the proto mesh, and that's kind of the uh, oops, let's pull up another one. That's the biggest thing that I try to emphasize on the forums is that people kind of figure out a bit of the functionality first so you can see what the moving pieces are, all that good stuff. From this phase, he's proved out a lot of that functionality, and so he can go on and start to. Uh, work on the high poly, start adding in more detail, stuff along those lines. So this is a rocket launcher that's been developed by uh, SigmaFi. Awesome. And he's yeah. continued to kind of polish on it. He's uh, done a really good job with it. Um, the neat thing is he's been really, really interactive with the community and uh, posting kind of his progress, where he's going with it. Um, and they've been giving him a lot of good feedback, too. Yes, all the stuff that he knows that he kind of needs to work on, things he still needs to, to do on it. So he's doing an amazing job with that. I'm seeing some shut up and take my money in the <laughs> thread. Uh, in the next, chat. we have a couple of uh, link guns that are... Um, Very, very cool. Wow. This one is very JL+. Very old plus. school. Yeah. Um, and I'm really a fan of this one. The thing that I like about it, he's done a really uh, good job 
of having clean forms balanced with kind of uh, greater detail. So it's a nice balance of forms and of detail. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kind of had a bunch of link guns that were spawning off in multiple different directions. So that's been the really fun thing about this weapon is there's some very dramatically different interpretations of it. I really like that. Yeah. It's cool too how people have been finding uh, very different interpretations but that are all very recognizable as a link gun. Yep. I think that's one of the things that's important is you know, we want to have these weapon variations in our game but it's important that other people be able to recognize immediately what you're holding in your hand. So that's one of the things we're, we're trying to figure out is what are the common design elements that the weapon needs to have so that it's recognizable as the, s the kind of weapon it is. And so far, I mean, all these that you've shown, it's like you, you clearly recognize mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah. See this one. Especially once you get the effects and stuff like that. And yeah. this is a progression of the one that, the version that Mangley's working on, and he's done an amazing job, and he has also worked very, very well with the community. And this weapon has involved quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. He's definitely been extremely proactive about taking feedback and considerations. That's um, really cool. It's looking very interesting. I, I think in the base poly phase, what he's really done well is he's experimented with a lot of different proportions and made those changes at a more simple geometry level. If he would have started carving in a lot of geometry and then started getting all this feedback from the community, it would have been a lot more time intensive for him to make changes. Mm -hmm. So um, I think he's done an excellent job of going through the process and uh, basically really taking the proper steps to ensure that all the main foundation of it is really good before proceeding with uh, greater detail. So one of the uh, bigger announcements that we have is that we've come to a f <laughs> an official uh, sniper design. <sighs> and yes. this <laughs> is Abaru, and <coughs> I, this one has been polarizing on the forums, mm -hmm. um, but it's really started to grow on us as a team internally. And I think the biggest thing that we like about this is the foundation of it, the core of it is really iconic, but you could really change the personality of this weapon. For example, if you put on an old school, super realistic, uh, sniper scope, mm -hmm. then that would mm -hmm. make it feel a lot more retro. If you put a larger uh, muzzle brake on it, if you changed the stock, it would kind of get a different personality. So we selected this one based on two things, that at its core it's a very, very iconic and sleek design. It allows for a high level of uh, texture and skin customization, but also actual mesh customization. So if you wanted to change the personality of the gun, um, with a different scope, with a different stock, with a different muzzle, you could do that. But uh, I think it was time for us to just yeah. bite the bullet, so to speak, oh and that pick looks fantastic. one. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Cheesy. Sorry. So uh, I've already talked to him, and he's very excited, and he's also been amazing working with the community and um, going through that whole process and just continually taking ideas and suggestions and iterating them into the design so and it has been tough because it's, it wasn't only polarizing in the office for us it's polarizing on the forums too so absolutely mm -hmm. and at some point you just have to move forward and and again with all these even though they're the official they'll continue to evolve we still have a lot of things that we need to figure out with that one of the biggest ones is steve and i were talking about is how do we show the animation so you understand exactly when you can fire, yeah. when it's ready to fire again, so that those types of things can be configurable if we need to change the reload time. I know with the sniper, that's one of the biggest kind of um, discussions is yeah. reload time and ammo and how do you balance it and all that good stuff. I'm looking forward to playing Sniper Arena with that one. <laughs> it's very yeah. cool. So we have one other official. <gasps> um, Another? And basically, I know we have a couple of um, very, very nice link gun designs, and those guys are doing great. But uh, the team internally decided that they, the next model that they wanted me to model personally was the link gun. And 
what we chose was we went back to one of Gooba's earlier designs. There's actually that Gooba. Uh, two versions of it. Um, slight variations. And so we're probably going to do a blend of the two concepts. And then we're also going to figure out there's a couple things we're not sure of as far as the ammo drum looking a little too much like a grenade launcher ammo feeder. Um, and again, this is a big thing that I've tried to stress on the forums is that the concepts or the base models or all those things, those are just the, the inspiration, the starting place. And they'll continue to evolve and change and um, morph over time as we get it roughed in in 3D, as we get feedback. Well, it looks fantastic. And, uh, I think that would be a good one. I definitely will try to um, make you guys proud, and I'll definitely... So you're going to be doing the modeling on that one? I will be doing the modeling. Awesome. I will be doing it all out in the open uh, on the forums, as I did with the shock rifle. So early in the process, you guys can come in and make fun of me, how crappy it looks. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> um, give me suggestions and feedback and crits, and I'll just keep... Uh, funneling through. So I know, uh, obviously, I'm on the forums every single day. I've watched the evolution of the feedback on all the different concepts. I've watched all the different paint overs, all the concepts. And so... Took all the abuse, well maybe a little bit. The feedback and the knowledge of what you guys are looking for. And obviously, for every conversation that you guys have on the forums, we're having them daily in, yep. in, the, uh, in the war room yep. as well. So... It will continue to evolve and grow, and the fun thing is, is you guys will be involved in the entire process. Someone said it looks like the UT3 and the UT99 link gun had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> so the very That's last thing I, I wanted to show was a full uh, weapon mod. <gasps> and so this isn't the translocator. What this is, is this is the instructions for <gasps> the Ripper oh. prototype <laughs> that Whale has been doing. <laughs> Yeah, um, Will's been working on this. This is amazing. It's actually available for download right now on the forums. What? I'm not going to show it in person, but you guys will get to see it in the very next segment after I uh, tap out. But right now it's just <laughs> using the my old translocator that I did for UT3 yes. as a placeholder. But what I had lying around is <gasps> look at that an old high poly of the Unreal Championship 2 Ripjack. So this is an official weapon, so this is an official model. I can't really do this on the clock, but I thought since I had it lying around, I could give this to Whale as to use as placeholder art for his prototype weapon, which he's continuing to refine and polish, and you guys will see it in action in the next segment. But with that said, I'd highly recommend any of you forum uh, people out there, if you want to model him a completely original uh, Ripper model, that would be really cool. I know there was one on the weapon design forums. It kind of drifted down a few pages. So if you're out there and you maybe want to take that on <laughs> as a project. Um, Those old school logos. That would be <coughs> really fun. Yes, this render is from almost 10 years ago. Wow, so. that's amazing. It looks great. And that is all I have for the weapon updates. But uh, Woohoo! I, th I think that you've made a couple people ooh and ah. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to get back to the forums and see how everybody's going. <laughs> <feeling. laughs> I'm very, very excited to dive back in. Uh, since I finished the shock rifle, I was kind of doing a bit of miscellaneous uh, work. And you're um, just back from vacation? Back from a little road trip. The and road trip. I'm very, very eager to get to modeling another space gun for all you guys. Well, yeah. <laughs> I do hear it a lot, you know, talking to people on Facebook and, and Twitter and everything. Where's the Ripper? Are we, uh, is there going to be a Ripper? Like, you know, we guys, we haven't seen the Ripper for a long time, but uh, here it is. You guys are fixing to see it, and you can download it today. So with that, I'm out. You are out, and we're going to bring in that Bob life. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> she what? did it. <laughs> we're going to bring in Zach. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pete. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> go, talk to, go talk to the people, because they're yes, excited. I'm hopping in the chat right now. Yes, they are very excited. They want to know what UT next is, so you better explain that too. <laughs> That's UT three. Yeah. Unreal Championship two. Unreal Championship two. It was the code name for Unreal Championship two. Yep. Yeah. So no surprises there. <laughs> so first, um, we'd like to 
give a big thank you to Zed1122. What's his name on the forums? Is it Zed2? I can't remember. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, Zed. Anyway, Zed did a movement tutorial for, uh, for Outpost 23. And I posted this on Facebook, and people were just like, well, thank you for showing me how terrible I am. And uh, another comment was, I had no clue what I could do in Unreal Tournament. <laughs> so, <laughs> so people are watching this video, n new people who don't know about this movement, who have just been just r you know running around, and they're just amazed at how they can get around this map now. So this, this is fantastic. We are going to put this on, um, on the blog along with uh, Zacubus' tutorials. And we want to see more. Oh, yeah. And we would love to see more from all of you, especially these, 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 these types of movement tutorials, because a lot of people, if you watch people playing, you know, for the first time, you'd see yeah. them just walking around, and they don't know all the fantastic movement and jumps and dodges and everything that you can do. Yeah. So you guys, I'm, I'm looking at you, Chumbo and, <laughs> and, and Hypno. It would be great if you guys could, could do some more of these movement tutorials, because yeah. I think they're really, really helpful for people. Also talking about uh, dual strategy and things like that, I think yes. would be really interesting. Yep. I think that's, you know, a lot of people don't really understand the depth in, in that you can have in those, in those game types, and so I think that'd be valuable both for helping people get better and for pe helping people understand what the, the game is really all about. Well, you can, when you, the first time you play Duel, you go in and you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to do this. But, you know, yeah. to have somebody be able to explain it to you because, you know, you watch these guys and they know which weapons to pick up first. They know, they know where to go. They know what the, you know, where the armor is, when it's going to spawn. And to, to, to hear it from somebody like, you know, Hypno and Chumbo, I think that would be awesome if yeah. we could get a tutorial for that. I know I would appreciate it because I'm terrible yeah. at Duel as much as I love it. Yeah. Okay, so now so what are you doing? What are we Zach? looking at here? here? Um, two, yes, uh, we were going to take a brief <laughs> uh, glimpse at uh, what Pete Hayes was just briefly talking about. Oh? Um, so I've, I've thrown in uh, oh? the prototype here. Uh, you can download this pack file on the forums. Um, but yeah, it's just a, a functional working ripper, and you can start seeing it just start zipping around there. Does it make the same sound? Do you know? I or don't, don't we know yet. He should just steal the sounds if he's yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he, he used should. the UT99 sounds for okay. at least the explosive stuff. Chicken, chicken, yeah. chicken. And then that's but also the, the bouncing also yeah. like yeah. it needs yeah. to have the full. Can you get headshots with it? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Absolutely. I haven't seen you hit anybody. Well, can yeah, <laughs> can <laughs> <laughs> it is. No, we were asking, can with you it? get headshots? Oh no, no. There he goes. In that situation, no, not against easy bots. I still can't, unfortunately. You you just got a headshot. But yeah, I'm impressed. But yeah, all we did was uh, we just threw it in with the weapon replacement uh, mutator, and then I just switched bios over to it. It won't let you uh, select into it. There are a few bugs with it, but if you want to play with it and get an idea of how it's working, how the bounces feel, and give some feedback on the forums. Nice. Yeah, the it trail lo it looks, looks great. It yeah. looks really awesome. looks like they stick around for a really long time. <laughs> they, they definitely <laughs> do work. So yeah, right now you can just kind of abuse it. You throw them around for a while, and you're just walking. You this switch guns, and it's like, oh, freaking how, <laughs> how was that, how was that uh, balance in the past? Was it a max number of bounces or something that it had? It's been a long time since I, I had, it <laughs> had a max number of bounces. I can't remember. All I remember is uh, playing a uh, yeah, it was it was not particularly balanced. <laughs> 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 now there is an alt fire mode too, so you've got your primary, which is the bounces, the is headshot, that an all that stuff. One? Yeah, of course. So you throw it out, and then boom, you get a little bit of. Oh, oh, oh it gosh. does consume more ammo, but uh, yeah. So he has that other fire mode too, right? Where you send the alt out, and then I think it's you have to use primary to guide it. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah so, if so if you send it out and then you're holding left, you I'm can oh yeah, it awesome. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if that point. wouldn't actually work just as well if you just made the, the default behavior for the explosive one. Oh, you mean just kind of yeah. it follows wherever Give you're Give it a little bit of guidance by default and that's yeah. just it because it feels a little that's bit convoluted not a bad idea. otherwise. Well, the problem is that if you don't want, so that, I mean, he, it, this, that was functionality was in UT99, although it was not very well implemented, so it didn't, people didn't use it much, but the problem is, is that if you sometimes you just want to fire at a spot like you're leading somebody, and then you don't want it to move, you, you then turn for your next shot. You don't want the yeah. it to veer off. Could away potentially from be a cool trade-off though for having forcing you to commit to yeah to trying to hit the target, depending on what the actual output of the just explosion yeah. just is. Just remember too. playing Z I Station Zero and firing down those hallways. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> where in the kills. balance spectrum the actual explosion follows. Yeah, or fo the know. explosion wasn't very powerful, but it had a really big um, impulse on it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. so we have a special but guest. Yep. Everybody have your earphones in oh. so we yeah, can right talk to out. our special guest. I can't figure out how to <laughs> do this without holding it. So, As we so have all these awkward sounds look going like. on. And now, live from Toronto, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, are you there with us? Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey there hello. he is. So we have Tim with us today, and Tim has done some great game, game types. Now, you guys, last night, oh, I won't tell what we're going to do yet. 
Did you already say it yeah. anywhere? Um, I haven't really said it. You can please okay. feel free. Well, no, that's all right. We'll do speed first. Yeah. Um, so this is awesome. Speed is so much fun. It's kind of like bunny tracks um, from the older games where you're just going through and you're seeing how fast you can get through. And there's like a little obstacle course. So I'm going to let Zach take it from here. Yeah. Um, this is a pretty awesome game mode. Uh, Tim A. Obviously, uh, number one here on the leaderboard. Uh, <laughs> did some awesome work on this mod. Yeah, you, know, you can never trust when the program is yeah, first. first <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trusting like it. So. But uh, it's, it's really cool. Um, it's got some Super Meat Boy quick uh, trial and error feel to it. And you've got this kind of portal feel of trying to get through a test track kind of deal. Um, Timmy, would you like to talk a little bit about the design and how you guys came about this? Uh, well, yeah, it's basically, well, you guys pretty much summed it up. Um, every first-person shooter game I know that I played since the beginning that was moddable had some sort of time trial game mode, so of course it needed to be here. Um, ooh, yeah. I don't know really what <laughs> to, to say about it. Yeah, it's uh, uh it's kind of rough to do it on my setup right now, but oh, yeah, Raxi, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but Raxi is in here too right now. He, he's uh, he's. Kind of kicking ass, is. flying through this track real Could quick. You should just spectate, Raxi. Let's see, I can get that going. <laughs> Hold on, Shelly. If you want to cut away, uh, I'll switch some stuff on my end over here. <laughs> no, no offense. No, uh, it's, it's actually not Zach's fault. This mouse is terrible, and we keep saying we're going to replace it, but we still haven't done that yet. Sure. Yeah, Sydney, so Sydney's so actually <laughs> bad, though. He, d he can't use that excuse. So, so, so like Tim so said, uh, I mean... Wait, what, what happened to you? Oh, day? I can't. No, I don't know what happened to that duel, man. Uh, oh. uh, let's see. I lost my thing. We don't like to talk about it. Yeah. No. <laughs> I walked sideways <laughs> after that. So so Tim, like like he said, we m most games have the speed runs and stuff like that. If you go in on uh, Twitch, I mean on uh, YouTube, you can see all kinds of different speed runs for games. I'm just going to run through this a little bit. I'll mess around with it a bit, Shelly, so we can cut back. Uh, if Raxi wants to teleport back to the beginning, and he'll hang with me or just take off. There he goes. But yeah. Uh, so, of course, you start <laughs> out with a nice dance there. Uh-oh, we got a little cafe in here, too. Um, so, yeah. Oh, you're in real trouble now. Yeah. So, you, you of course, you're doing some basic movements. Uh, on this easy map, they've given you a few different routes. Like, if you can't handle the slope dodge here, which obviously I'm running some issues with, then you can take the, the crate here and then go up it as well. Um, sure you're actually running into, like, a wall friction bug there or something on the slope dodge. Oh, come on, Cafe. Anyways, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, you just uh, you can do some advanced moves and get through the map there a little bit you faster. Go. You can get some coins. The coins will reduce your overall time. So the goal was to kind of get through it as fast as possible and have the leader score. Um, if you get the coins, it's a little bit harder to get to, but it will reduce your time. Uh, it's, it's really fun. Now, this is one of the a little bit more basic maps, like I said, but uh, they have some that are, like, excruciating to get through, but it's super rewarding You're once you get kidding. through it. Yeah, like... This is killing me right now. <laughs> hmm. We should have a better setup in here. Yeah, this 30 hertz monitor is not working well for me. <laughs> um, anyways, the, the point of it is, is get through as fast as you can, and then you have global leaderboards that are available at the beginning of every map. Um, they also do a really cool thing. If you go to speed.raxi.com, they will really? have leaderboards for every map, every person who's ever completed it, uh, it's it's really incredible. Please so. don't look at my score. <laughs> 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 I uh, was just <laughs> hanging out with them and talking. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's 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 a really cool game mode. Um, if Super you fun. You actually get a lot from this. It teaches you movement on a whole other level, and it really forces you to learn the intricate mechanics that are in the game. Um, some some of the maps you even have to like jump hit a jump pad a certain way to get a certain velocity, and um, yeah, it's it's pretty nuts. And so as you Tim can see, I'm struggling to get over just a crate. So, Tim, is there any plan in the future to like make the coins persistent or anything like that? I love collecting the coins. So, yeah, actually, Pete's been working on that. So I'm sure we'll we'll work out with uh, Tim how he can use the same. Awesome. Yeah. Be cool. How long did it take you to do this, Tim? Uh, it was actually pretty fast. I mean, I took Sid's all. I mean, he did all like the textures and the gates and all that. So I pretty mm -hmm. much just stole all his work and <laughs> <laughs> just. Uh, you went from there. Um, then everyone, like, no one was playing it, and then everyone was bugging me for the global leaderboard, so kind of joined forces with Araxi, and then we got that working pretty much in a day. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, and after that, everyone was playing it consistently, so... How, yeah, how are you guys handling the global leaderboards? 
Uh, magician never tells us. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really one big giant hack, sort of. So um, mm -hmm. you could. Uh, that's why him and Matt get along so well. Yeah, Shelly, you can switch to a monitor hack. quick. And that's just kind of a brief look at. Oh, I mean, yeah, they, look. they have global leaderboards. It's ridiculous. Time, date, the user that went through what map. It, it's really awesome that they've got all this stuff kind of tied together. Yeah, and it all updates real time. So someone out in Australia who completes the map, if you're logged in the server in North America, his score will just pop up. So yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's very, awesome. the very leaderboards cool. is a super impressive component for this yeah. thing. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. th it's definitely one of the most important things. Uh, I know when I first got in there, I was trying to definitely get some of these. And then, uh, yeah, it turns out that it's going to take some practice. So I'm going to have to work on that a little seconds? bit. Really? Yeah, no, getting those coins. That's a pretty big delta there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Did well, Cafe is still up there. He was up there. Who else was up there before? He's not on there anymore. There was a bunch on there, I guess. Uh, some was of them might it? probably re reset. It looks something. like Cafe needs to step up his game, though. He's lagging behind a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, what's up with that, Cafe? Six mm. seconds off? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm Gauntlet. just kidding. <laughs> cool. Very um, cool. So that was speed. So yesterday you guys had a really cool play test that I was not a part of because I had to go to a meeting and I was very sad because this is one of my favorite game types. Uh, to answer NATO's question, uh, we're aware of that. Uh, the that calf fun. hack? The calf hack, yeah. <laughs> we're aware of that really uh, fun little thing. I don't, I don't know if we, I think it might have gotten fixed. I'm not certain. I, sh I showed everybody the day after that I saw it for the first time. I was like, look, guys, watch this. It's the hat. <laughs> well, I fixed it in speed. If you try to ragdoll, I just kill you. So. Oh, Fantastic. awesome. <laughs> Thank Let's you. See. Where did Sorry, Tim? Calf. Which, which heck mm -hmm. is this? You want a temple? Sure. He, he fixed it. The so teleport to origin if you... Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice job, Tim. Uh, but c yeah, go ahead. You want to talk a little bit about this? You guys had a play test in this yesterday. Yes. So we got to test domination yesterday. Domination. We, uh, last week, Zach and I played with a bunch of the community guys as well, and after that, w um, decided to give it a spin at the office because we're pretty impressed with uh, how you're dealing with this, Timmy. Um, especially one thing that stands out as being super awesome for this uh, iteration of it is that it is able to pick points on the fly, or rather mm -hmm. use existing weapon bases and power up armor bases. So existing deathmatch levels will just work, which is awesome. So yeah. As you can see, this is a thigh pad spawn, so yeah, like you were saying. So yeah. what, what happens if you're in a map that doesn't have a thigh pad spawn? This will be on It'll some. pick whatever is available as the furthest point, but oh Timmy, correct me awesome. if I'm wrong. That's another Timmy hack. Oh no, yep, that, that's, that's uh, pretty much how it works. Uh, whatever the furthest ones are uh, <coughs> from each other. Basically, it's done, I tried a whole bunch of different ways, but it, what seemed to work best was distance by 2D, 2D distance, and then picking out of the three points, if you imagine like a triangle, the distances um, get the, the the shortest distance of the three and get, and of that number, get the greatest one right. out of all the combinations, and that seemed to work best. So awesome. Yeah, so far we've yet to see, I think, a bad setup. <laughs> yeah. Really? We, we played several maps, yeah. so went through a bunch. So this is another thing that we get asked for a lot, you know, out, out in the wild. It was like, it, when we were at GDC, somebody said, are you guys going to do domination? I'm like, yeah. you know, you how guys can do whatever you want. How are you, you handling the different game type rules and stuff? Do you actually have it set up so it's I and I configurable for spawn times, et cetera, or, or capture times, or... Um, yeah, nothing. Actually, I, yeah, RZ, we, RZ was asking me about the config, so I threw the config for capture time in last night, but uh, so far nothing's really exposed like that. Um, it's just all kind of hard-coded in right now? Yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah. um, if a mapper wants to add their own control points, I mean, it's exposed for them. They can set whatever time they want. Um, <laughs> So I don't know, like no one's really came forth and wanted to experiment with it. So I mean, if anyone wants to try something, you know, just let me know and I can put it in there. Awesome. Do you still have so a thread going on the forums that is current for all this stuff? Uh, I'm not sure how up to date it is. It's somewhere on there. There's <laughs> something for speed and domination. Maybe it would be worth bumping at this point because it's yeah, a we'll really I'll super I'll playable state. Yeah, I'll definitely bump it when I get back. Might get some more people interested. Yeah, it's, it's a ton of fun. So definitely want to have more people in on this. Uh, yeah, Chimbo was mentioning in chat uh you do cap the points instantly currently 
as well as you start with a, a full loadout of all the weapons. Yeah, it's been super fast paced that way. So it's it's kind of interesting. We, we were a little bit divided on that internally, I think, uh, trying to play it. On one hand, it's nice because the game plays really fast. On the other hand, you don't n ever really have any trade-offs for dying or yeah. holding a point dying. You get right back in. You don't need to actually worry about stocking up or anything. So from a pacing standpoint, it's like go, 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 yeah. go, 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 <laughs> which and can be cool sometimes. But and it also feels like you end up just having like three arenas you play in and not really playing at all in the rest of the map. But yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I'm still like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the answer is. Yeah. I guess we can experiment with all that stuff and see what works best. Yep. Yep. And and if anybody to play, can they play this now? Mm -hmm. uh, Raxi's running yep. uh, all these on uh, all the mod hubs. Isn't that correct, Timmy? Uh, I believe so, yes. Cool. Yeah, so make sure you guys go in and play and come to the forums and give Tim some feedback and let's let's get domination to where everybody wants it to be. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. Absolutely. <laughs> so am I. I just I absolutely I used to spend so much time playing this. It was it was it was a lot of fun playing with those guys, super hectic and everything. I, I, I had a lot of fun. Is is this one of your first times playing domination, Zach? Uh for UT, yeah. That's awesome. And you thought it was good? <laughs> no, yeah, I definitely, I definitely <laughs> had a lot of fun, but uh, we were playing with some pretty hardcore guys. There was uh, it was a Chumbo was in there, Cafe, I think. We oh had gosh. just a ton of ton of Timmy was in there too. Tim A, yeah, <laughs> uh, all yeah. those guys were in there. So we Same. were playing with the Shark Tank. It was good times, so. though. Yeah. So you guys got crushed, in other words. I think we were on opposite teams. I don't know. Oh, okay. Somebody good. had to win. Good. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Tim, for doing this and yeah. for, for stopping in and saying yeah. hello. We really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, awesome job, man. Awesome, awesome job. Thanks nice for all job. you're doing. Thanks for everything. Cool. Um, he, he earned his PC. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he really did. All right. I th guess that's about it. Yep. So anything else anybody has? Do you have any updates or anything? Um, I guess in general, well, there's a whole bunch of, of different things we're working on now. Um, we're not going to have a build out this week. Um, we'll plan. We'll start uh, the build process again probably around the end of the week once we get to a point where we're ready to have something that uh, we think is worth going through. Um, we're slowing down a little bit on our on our build frequency just because we're doing a longer vetting process for our builds. Um, now that we have a you know a li bigger player count, both we want to make sure the build is stable, and also we don't want to make people have to down mm -hmm. have huge downloads every week if there's not something that's significant that's worth um, that download. So um, we'll. Sometimes we might do a weekly if there's some important update, um, and this week we'll we'll see around the end of the week uh, where we are and what you know and when we get to the point where we have a build that we think is going to be provide some cool additional features for you guys. So awesome! All right, anybody else? Thank you, Shelly, yeah. for all your help. Shelly, Shelly's back backstage, yeah. <laughs> doing this all herself today. All all her all her all her helpers are in Las Vegas. They abandoned her. <laughs> Looking. All she has left is the monkey. It's <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, they're looking at new equipment, so we can do even more cool where's things where's here, the like like <laughs> like having even more per one per than one person <laughs> Skype in. But make sure you uh, watch <laughs> the engine stream tomorrow, and uh, there's uh. no Fortnite stream tomorrow, correct? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so yeah, make sure you watch. The uh, oh God, see what I put up with. Uh, make sure you stop in the engine stream tomorrow. Say hi to Chance, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Munchie. <laughs>